Hello everyone, welcome back to Science Technical Hub. My name is Ashok and I am here to explain my presentation on Analysis and Design of Multi-Story Residential Building by using STAT Pro. If you are searching for civil engineering project in this pandemic time, this project may be useful for you because this project consisting the work which is probably done at your home. In this video description, I provide the PPT and report PDF too. I hope you take it as a your reference. Please watch until the end of this video. And this is our project objectives. To plan a layout consisting of various amenities using AutoCAD. After that, to analyze and design a typical multi story building manually and Stat Pro. After that, to compare the results which is comes under the Stat Pro and which is comes under the manual analysis. This is the literature review part which we are taken as a reference. This is the methodology part which is I said in the objectives part. As per the objectives, we follow the same procedure, preparation of building layout by using AutoCAD, after that analysis and design of residential building by manually, after that we go to the analysis and design J plus for residential building by using Stat Pro. then we compare both the results which is comes under the manual and software too. This is the floor plan of our building. The floor area is about 600 meters square, each floor has 4 flats and each flat has same room arrangement and same room orientation too. We are planning for the G plus 5 which is said in the earlier title that means 5 into 4 we are designing for the 20 flats. And we plan the building as per the building bylaws. For project we take the live load as 2 kN per meter square and floor finishes as 1 kN per meter square and weight of partitions 2 kN per meter square and the location of our project is which is Kadapa and depth of the foundation below the ground level is 2.5 meters and with the SBC is 300 kN per meter square each story height is 3 meters and plinth level is 0.6 and the walls, uh, periphery walls thickness is 230 mm and the partitions walls thickness is 120 mm next it is the analysis and design in stat pro part after designing this stat pro the skeletal view of the structure is which is shown in the left picture and the 3D model of the structure that means a rendering view of the structure is which is shown in the right picture. The designing loads for the residential building dead load 3 kN per meter square the figure which is shown in the slide is taken from the STAT Pro and this is the live load picture we are taken as 2 kN per meter square and this is the floor load 1 kN per meter square and this is the wind load we take the wind load as 50 meter per second. We follow the IS875 code book. And this is the overall bending moment diagram. And this is the shear force diagram. Next, designing of beams. It is a model after assigning the sectional properties to the beam. The report which is comes in the stat pro. First, first picture shows the properties of the beam. And in the next picture shows the reinforcement details of the beam. Next picture it shows the deflections of the beam. Next designing of columns. It is the picture model after assigning the sectional properties. It is the report of properties of the column and reinforcement details of the column. And it is the de deflection of the column. Next we are coming to the comparison of analysis results. We observe that AST required at midsection is 603 mm square as manually but in stat pro we get the higher value 785 mm square AST required end section 805 mm square in stat pro 904 mm square but in column manually AST required is 1500 mm square but in stat pro 1045 mm square this is the dog legged staircase which we are designed for the building now finally coming to the conclusions using stat pro the analysis of multi-story building has completely much quicker when compared to the manual analysis. Observed in the comparison table, the reinforcement percentage in this section is more in case of software design when compared to the manual calculations. 
Shear variations and moment variations on particular section can be also changed and accuracy is improved by using software and there is the references which we have taken IS-456-2000 code and design is for reinforced concrete IS-456-2000 and IS-875-2015 code of practice for design loads and RCC design by Punmiya etc. So watching and please do subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon.